so that was like our worst summer we actually did end up breaking up because of this All this stuff, but like this is real life. This is honest. Real, These are oh, you know what this is? Real talk. You call my mama's house and what? Girl, my mama ain't gotta screen no calls for me. Real talk. For today's video, we're doing a little portion, a little Q and A with Monica. Um, Sean or Sylvia Sean asked, "Does Monica ever get jealous?" of how much time you spend working on the 240, filming, editing, marketing. My girlfriend doesn't like every moment or dollar he spends on his car. I'm kind of paraphrasing. And I was going back and forth on the comments and I think he said it would be a cool relatable topic to f discuss in film. We're gonna get into it. Hey guys. First question, do you get jealous of how much time I spend? on the 240. Okay, so now in my life... And remember, you're gonna inspire all the young women of the world, so you have the weight of the world on you. To be 100% 100, 100 honest, now at this point in my life, I don't get jealous, was a summer. Mm -hmm. For 2012, um, I was working full time, and then after work I would go to GNC. So I had like my summer job, and then I, would, I also worked at the mall at GNC. And Ryan was working at U-Haul. U-Haul. He would also work on cars. I would, I would like start real early in the morning, and then I would be done whatever time the mall closed. I would want to go and hang out with Ryan, but U-Haul had later hours. Mm -hmm. So our our schedules. schedules were just very conflicting, and we weren't hanging out. And any free time he did have, he was working on his car. Any time we had together, he was working on his car. So that was like our worst summer. We actually did end up breaking up because of this. It wasn't any time for the relationship and Ryan was like 100% cars, 100% his car friends, 100% Craigslist, like all about it. It was a time when I was angry and then we broke up, we worked out our issues and we got back together. And how did you- And at that time, did I make adjustments or did you just learn to deal with it? So that I time. think Not I now. think it was both. Not now. That um, time. You did make adjustments, and then I also found ways to get into it. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, if he was her. working on his car, I would help him sand, or I would help yeah. you peel paint off, or like, what else would I help you do? We would we would clean our rims together. Changer, yeah. We, I, I, I would spray cars. paint my <laughs> rims. You know what I mean? So he would include me with the process more, which kind of got me into it. When it was like people talking about things and I didn't know what they were talking about and I couldn't even contribute to the conversation. It kind of made me feel like I was left out and like I didn't belong. And like, it, the, like the car scene, the, at least the people we were hanging out with, they were just so different than me. So it was like really hard for me to like fit in or like find stuff in common with the girls. And I'm you not gonna pretend, uh -huh. like I wasn't you gonna- about front. No, 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 no. I just, about front. I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, like, I'm like all about like something if I'm not like I was interested in certain things and I could only speak as much as to what I knew about those certain things so that's kind of what helped but I also do think it's important for a relationship to just have time themselves like go do the car stuff and try to beat that, that out but like on one, you say one on one time together without the friends without the car talk and just keep that, even if it's two nights a week. A what time. were things that you enjoyed? Not only did when I include you, but had to do with cars? our activities. Not even the activities. Say it doesn't have to be car cars. So I that. really liked car meets. Mm -hmm. With including what though? Like like the music, the loud music, the different food trucks, the mm -hmm. the tents that had like the free monsters. Oh yeah. I honestly and like. His souvenirs. one, the souvenirs, the free stuff. If it was just like a group of us, and like I didn't have anything in common with the people, that would stink. But when his friends would bring their like two little kids, this is before I had Lena, and I like love kids, I love animals. If there was like a puppy there or like a dog there, 
or there was kids, like it was fun for me because when they're talking about like what what kind of stuff would you guys talk about Probably and it's like way over wheels. my head, I don't even know. Probably. Like I can't even contribute to that conversation. So that was a little discouraging for me. I was like 100% into fashion and makeup. And that's all me and Ryan ever did. And me and my friends only talk about- You see this fashion right here? The, the Kylie Jenner lip kit. Like contribute to that. Like that conversation. So it's gonna be boring for him. He's gonna get sick. He's gonna get bored of me. And he's gonna wanna leave. All right, now the work is doing the laundry and taking care of Lena. And I'm out, out all in, day. Out all day. And I'm in the garage. Actually, does it, Matt, does it, does it make a difference of me in the garage or out? So if you're in the garage and I'm here, it's not, it do, I don't think it's that bad. Because I can, if I have to run to my dad's house to move laundry, I can leave Lena here. But the whole process of loading Lena in the car. In and out. Unloading her. Yes. It's, 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 it's hard. It's hard to get stuff done. It takes so much more time than if it's just me or if we're at my dad's house. But that does take up a lot of time on the weekends, cleaning the house and doing the laundry. And like if there's something I want to do, like sometimes I feel stressed if I want to do it because I'm like, oh, I have to, I have to get this done. Also, another thing is learn uh, your significant other's patterns. Like Monica, I know Monica freaks out about decorating the house. So I specifically helped her with the tree because she does not like putting up lights. Yeah, that's true. So, so you have to learn her pattern. So that was like a really great, that was a really great balance where he helped We're me going to clips. put up the tree and- My team too. Right. Guys, my fiance helped me with this, the lights and setting up the tree. I love him. All right, I love you. That morning and then he took, and then he did the car stuff. Now I did the tree and the lights by myself, it would have been a really bad day because I cannot do the lights. Like, I try and it just frustrates me, so. Just schedule, 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 schedule your days together. Planning, so. knowing what the other. Mm -hmm. How much, does it ever make you annoyed, jealous, uh, in a negative mindset or anything when I I'm constantly filming. Not the filming part. I love the filming part. I love having these memories that we can always look back on. Um, I've always encouraged Ryan to film everything. If he goes somewhere and he doesn't film, it's almost like... <laughs> why did you even why go? Why did you even go? No. He got mad at me once. Oh, not mad. Disappointed in me. Because I was going to go to um, FD, New Jersey. And I turned around and she was upset because I didn't have content <laughs> but I had to help out a friend. Do you ever get jealous, mad, or in a negative mindset when all I do is stay up late editing or even morning? Sometimes edit in the morning. I don't. I do and I don't. Does? But because we're both working hard on different things and yeah. we're both just tired. And we're both tired so it's like it's important for us both to get a good night's sleep because if we both didn't get a good night's sleep and we're both grumpy it's just not good. Not good. Not good. All right. But another time where I felt like the editing part did affect us a little bit was in the summer. I remember there was like one day when I really wanted to go to Aunt Peggy's pool and I really wanted Ryan to come uh, yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had to pump the videos out. Yeah, so he stayed at the house for a while. We couldn't, we couldn't do that and there's like some times where on the weekends where I'm like, oh, let's do this, let's do that, and he has to like, work, which is fine, but like, I don't, I feel like it's my duty as a mom to get Lena out on the weekends, take her to the park or something. Yeah, that's tough. It takes a lot of time, especially if I don't do it at night and I'm, say I'm exhausted, like, say my video, my filming doesn't end till late at night. If on the weekends, I'll just edit that morning, but those edits take a long time, so it'll literally take, exaggerating half my day editing and then then I start filming but then I have to cut that short so I can edit at night to keep up with my schedule so but another thing that's like hard it's like we put so much work into YouTube and the reason that we continue to do it is because he loves Ain't you guys I love I love you guys I love watching the videos every morning like it's so great to look back on. It's such a great hobby for Ryan. It's like the happiest and it's it's like 
the longest hobby that he's ever Except for expressed his artistic side. So it's like he needs it, but it is hard because it's like you're working how many hours a week, getting how many hours of sleep, and you're not seeing any return. So that's the only hard part about YouTube, I would think, the editing. Yeah, editing. But it's so nice to be able to talk to everyone, so it's almost like yeah. that pays editing's, for it. Yeah, editing's fun, except for when I feel that I didn't do a good job. So like, if I have a video that I'm not pumped about, it's it gets me upset. But if the video is sweet and it's funny and it's entertaining and it's clever, I get all pumped up and I'm, I'll stay up until one, two o'clock in the morning editing because it's literally is that exaggerating? He enjoys it, no. Okay. Yeah, because it's fun. It's like little clips, like boom, boom, bop, bop. So it's fun. Marketing. Oh yeah. That's that kind of goes hand in hand with like the editing part where. Like yesterday, you couldn't hang out with us because you had to do photo shoots. Yeah, I love marketing. Man. It's my favorite thing. It's all that hustle. But another way, like, that I've kind of made it work for us instead of being like, like moping around and being like, oh, you don't spend any time with me. Like, I get involved. I'll help him design the shirts. I'll help him with. Yeah, she'll help me with the process. I'll help him with the process of the designing and creating of the clothing. And um, a pin, find a pin, or the bundles ideas and how to break it down so everyone wins. Yeah, or like if he's doing photo shoots, I'll sit in the room while he does the photo shoots. Like the other day, he was doing the photo shoots in, in the room, the same room that I was putting the clothes away in. The product shots. Like, yeah, so we'll try to do our work together, kind of. Yeah. But it is hard if you guys don't live together. I'm not gonna. It's hard if you guys right. don't live together because it's like, oh, when you go to when you're exhausted and you go to sleep at night, you're not seeing that person. You're not saying good morning to that person. Mm -hmm. I try to uh, make like six to five, five to six videos now, and spend usually Wednesdays doing nothing. It's hard, but I try to do that. Well, at least the past week, a couple weeks, I've been trying to do that. I make that into a car or a not car. Question. Question. How's this? What's what's one way we can improve improve right now on balance of cars and YouTube and clothing versus fan or uh, with family and family? What's, what's is there? Do you feel that there's more more room for improvement? I think so. Hit it. What? But like, I is don't. It like days? Is it night? Is it weeknights or weekends? Because it's a huge difference. Yeah, I know. So like the weekdays, it's hard because we're so busy on the weekdays. Yeah, but it, it does kind of stink that we never go to sleep together. Mm -mm. We don't ever go to sleep together. We, yeah. It's hard. But at the same time, you like that I'm up. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I do like that he's up when I go to sleep because I get scared. Yeah. But, but then like, on the other hand, like, you have other people like, oh, we always go to sleep together at night. Yeah. And I'm like, would, would our relationship be different? Or is it better for our relationship? Because, I mean, I feel like, I don't know how you feel, but I don't feel like we've been together for nine years. Like, I don't mm. feel like, oh, that old hag. And also, yeah, when we do spend time together or with Lena, it's, it's like full attention. Cherish more, yeah. Yeah, it's like 100. It's like literally 100% in videos or 100% in cars or 100% in family. There's no like, I'm here, but I'm on my, you know, not thinking about being with them or not doing things for them or not being present with, you know, with them good question I'm glad he asked because it was a struggle in our relationship in the beginning like not in the first like two years but like yeah because when I first met her I was just out there just hunting hunting like a man in a safari and you were into cars but you weren't it wasn't as deep as well, I didn't have my license that's why yeah and I was extremely poor but, or is the investment of car parts and car vehicles and in, do you see it as an investment or do you see it as a complete waste of money honestly in the beginning it was a complete waste of money because yeah. Ryan he would pay top dollar for his stuff yeah. I was horrible at making deals 
and, and be when he would sell it, he just wanted to get rid of it, so he would sell it for bottom dollar. So guys, uh, make sure you share as many videos as you want. <laughs> No, but really, this is like real life, true feelings. I'm gonna do a like, real talk with my How do you feel? What do you think? Do you think it's a waste of money? I think I do a horrible job and I waste all my money on cars. But you've grown a lot. I've gotten a lot since better. Since I first met you. Yes, I've gotten a lot better, but I think spending every the last amount penny. of money that I spent on cars, I could have had the greatest 240 right now. Or and we just... could have the best house. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> you can't, people don't like watching boring stuff, so it's hard. You have to, I know, you have to get that's things why. To market. So, so guys, in conclusion, do you support, do you, are, would you consider yourself a supporting significant other, spouse, fiance, wife, whatever category you want to put yourself in? Do I you think feel, I am the most, do you feel that you're supportive? I think I'm the most supportive because I, I put up with a lot and she, I do a lot. She does and I don't take nothing. No, I'm sure. Um, yeah, she does. She helps me a lot. When I hear what other people do at work, like what their husbands do. Oh, yeah, she gets Just jealous. saying. She's like, no, I'm just I like. I got a little piece of dunk at but home. But on the other hand, on the other hand. Okay, now. So, like, before we had Lena, our relationship was so different. Like, I was literally his right. What's the saying? Like, you would never find him without me or me without him, besides when we were at work or like. Mm -hmm. But like, when we weren't at work, it was always duo. Sidekick. Yeah, sidekick. Other half. So like, I would go in the car when Main he would, sleep. when he would drift. Or like, yeah. I would go the 145 miles per hour on the motorcycle with him. I wish we had a field each other, that'd be sweet. I know. But like now that we have Lena, like my mindset is so different. Where it's like I grew up without a mom since I was 17, and I don't ever want to do anything to risk my life so that would happen to Lena because I know how it feels, and I don't want to have to put her through that. I have to edit this whole thing, and it's 30, 27 minutes. If you guys want more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Oh yeah, post your questions with different so we topics. Can have real talk with Monica or minutes with Monica. Minutes. This is like hour, half an hour. <laughs> yeah. It's Tuesday, guys. Get your bundle. Sick oh yeah. Time over everything. Guys, we have some sick bundles. They're dope. All right. Guys, go check them out. They're live right now. You have seat time over everything bundle. Comes with a seat time sweatshirt, as well as a backpack. You have a Dream It Build It bundle. Comes with a mystery hat, Dream It Build It t-shirt, and a backpack. And then Because Zanky bundle, which comes with a Because Zanky shirt, mystery hat, and backpack. All different colors. Uh, Check them on the website, they're dope. They're only uh, value of $77 for 50 bucks. Super proud, super pumped up we can get that number. So uh, yeah dog. happy Tuesday guys. Hopefully you like this video. A little bit of I don't do it for the ground, I do it for Compton. For you, yeah. Yeah, post in comments below. Any other questions for Monica and I? Is it true or is it not true? Yeah, no, I want to do more stuff like this, kind of like a podcast-ish. It's really hard to set up a podcast. I want to make a podcast eventually. It's really hard. It's not easy to make a podcast. Apparently, there's a website called Anchor that kind of does every all the work for you, but I haven't checked it out. Executions, key ideas are nothing. Holla at your boy, guys. We love you. More deals coming this way. We It's Black Friday. We're doing pre-sale. Check it out, becausedaddy.com. Use the code. Get your money, son. No, I'm just kidding. That's not a code. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just go check out the bundles. The dope. Holla at your boy, guys. Much love. Peace out. Holla. Bye. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear. Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas. My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am. Because I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here. I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said I swear I'll take it back